show me everything. 255 here. What up? What up? Uh, these are just my post patch notes. The patch has been out. People are still discovering new things. I've seen all the notes. I've even watched a bunch of videos about what the new changes look like. So I just wanted to drop my opinion here. And in the background, I got a lot of the new combos and some matches from what this new patch looks like. So let's do this. All right. So let's talk about the overall look of the patch. For me, this patch is Bandai Namco's attempt to return DBZ to season one, where most of the characters, right, like Super Saiyan Vegeta, some Goku Super Saiyan, Piccolo, some Gohan, Frieza, Trunks, Android 18, you know, Krillin, Gotenks, like all of these characters that were in season one, part of base roster that people really didn't pay a lot of attention to, um, or more like they were focused on them because they had to be and those characters were the strongest versus when the new characters came in the new DLC anyway uh, like Vegeta wasn't all that great Goku Black did good at the beginning but he got nerfed but I, I feel like this overall feeling of this patch is to kind of to bring us back into that season one double super crazy nonsense first thing I want to talk about I think what this patch does is great and that this patch makes it more accessible to casual players. For example, just them allowing Brawly to combo off his hard knockdown, I think that's a huge change. Is it huge enough to make Brawly a top tier character, him being able to do 4K? No, because I can still pick a fusion character hit medium, medium, and just do a basic ABC combo and get 5,200 damage off of it, <laughs> right? So yes, it's better for the fusions and for Android 21, especially Lab Coat, but I don't have a problem with them making it a little bit crazy, right? Giving Goku Black combos that can allow him to now hit and the uh, 5k and a half range that's good because i think one of the main things that these characters needed who were less played than the top level was the ability to two touch and i feel like now with these changes a lot of these characters can finally two touch i think that's good and it shouldn't require a person to have to do um re jumps and things like that a person should be able to just jump in the game play a little bit enjoy it. there's nothing wrong with that don't forget part of the appeal of what made marvel versus capcom 2 so popular was the ability to do easy combos and easy super flashy moves that's just part of it that's all right and uh i get really tired of um hearing from top players and uh youtubers complaining about it being a party game I see how many of them are going to complain now that Piccolo's uh, move has a, a new light that goes halfway across the screen, right? No one complained about Freeza's move. No one's complaining about Blue Vegeta's um, light being able to now travel even more. They did complain about GT Goku. It's just like certain characters they have problems with. Uh, like Android 18 right now, like her barrier, like her note special, that is ridiculous. That she can call out a barrier <laughs> and still do a super move during it. Now it's possible to perform a special attack while standing on the ground with her. Uh, like, it's crazy. And Android 17 goes clearly across the screen. I bet no one's going to complain about Gingyu and his, his new Bardock move that he has. I bet nobody's going to complain about Trunks. And it's hard slash that like almost goes across because that was the complaints from a lot of players. And we know who we're talking about, right? You know, not to call any anybody out. I'm not gonna do that. I want to, but I'm not going to. But you know, you know who the people are. The ones that complain about the fusions having EX moves that go across the screen. Well, what did Bandai Namco do now? Now almost all of the roster has moves that can go across the screen. I wanna see if they're gonna complain equally as much. And then you have the other camp of people 
who are going to say that this is a bad patch. It's not a bad patch. It can create more character diversity. In fact, I love the fact that they made C assist more viable. Why, why remove that? That was a huge part of season three. Oh, it makes it too easy. So what? Right? It, you're good. For the good players, you shouldn't even care about C assist. The players aren't going to be that good anyway. Right? So who are these people that are complaining? So what? The game's more fun now. Boo hoo. All right? <laughs> someone being able to use C assist is not going to stop someone who's really grinding the game, who knows how to do mix ups, who knows how to two touch you, who knows how to TOD you, right? Who knows how to play good neutral. A C assist is not going to be the end of the world. Shut up. Stop complaining. I am aggravated in my belief because I just got finished playing the fusions. I don't think. As long as you got enough bar, let's be honest. Lab Coat 21, she's still the GOAT. She's still the best player in the game. I guess the only contender now would be Blue Vegeta because after watching Hook's video, whoo, his damage is off. It's off the chain. He did a, a, a combo for, for 7K. For 7K, no bar. Like, that's outrageous. So. My thoughts on the patch are simply this. I am happy that they made all the changes that they did. They're going to give us a second patch, but we should be grateful. The game is f almost five years and a half old, and we're still getting new changes to the game. That's great. They're not letting it just die. They just sell 10 million. Uh, I would hope they add new stages and new DLC even. Why not? Let's play the game and enjoy it. Anyway, this is 255 out one.